Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. The setup looks a little bit different. I'm still in the washroom, but there is a bit of a difference. I have officially moved out of my parents' home and I live in my own apartment. So I've been like in the middle of moving for the past like week and a half, two weeks, and I really wanted to get like everything in my apartment set up so that I won't have to worry about it for like the next couple of months and I can just focus on things that I need to focus on. So yeah, that's what I've been doing and I'm really excited. I will be doing um, an apartment like vlog tour type of thing. Um, it's nothing special, but I did have a lot of requests from you guys. Um, for me to do that so i'll be filming that very very soon just have a couple more things to finish up and then that will be coming but for today's video it's a little bit different than what i've been doing um i wanted to do a little get ready with me today and also i'll just style this at the end or something yeah i'll talk about the hair later on in the video i just saw a couple like comments here and there wondering why i've just been doing like sponsored videos lately and stuff like that youtube is basically like another source of income for me like it's a job, right? I do use it as a job and I feel like I can do both. I can work off of it and also make content for you guys. And the past, I guess the past year pretty much, I've just been focusing on working and you know, saving up so I can move out and stuff like that. And I don't want you guys to see that in like a negative way as if like I don't care. But at the same time, I feel like if, if anyone was in my position, wouldn't you want to like work off YouTube as well and also make content like, you know, that's just a little thing that I wanted to say, but enough of me talking, let's just get right into this little get ready with me. Uh, I'm not going anywhere, we're in lockdown, but I just wanted to do a little makeup video and just show you guys how I've been doing my makeup. Because I was like moving stuff, I didn't really take care of my skin and I do have like a couple, I did have pimples, but like I kind of tried to get rid of them and I just have a little bit more scarring than usual and what else? I'm like trying to get back into my skincare routine, bought some new masks and all that, but I haven't been doing like my makeup that much. Like I really haven't done like a full face in that long. Whenever I do my makeup, I literally just do my brows, eyelashes, maybe a little bit of like concealing here and there, blush, bronzer, and I'm good to go. So that's what I'll be showing you guys today. Just my everyday type of makeup look. So yeah, enough of me talking, let's just get right into the video. I like to start with my brows first. I don't know, just frames the face and then can go from there what happened was like i recently like i lost my makeup bag for like a month and a half um it was my boyfriend but like i just i just never got it i don't know why and then i just started doing my makeup like really really natural like not trying too much and i had my lashes done like last month i'm so sad i don't have them anymore because we're in lockdown so i couldn't get a fill i had my lashes on so all i was doing is literally like my brows blush little bit of concealing and I was good to go so yeah I'm really excited to go do my lashes I hope lockdown and soon because it's taking way too long but you know we gotta do what you gotta do this is the perfect brow eyebrow pencil and it's from true color I just got it at the beauty supply store it's like a pencil but it's not that dark maybe it's the color that I got but it's really not that dark I'm so excited to like you know officially be on my own I do have my brother living with me he is in university right now and he goes to he goes to university in like another province which is like another state because I'm Canadian but because of the pandemic and stuff like that you know he's home so he's probably just gonna stay with me until he has to until he can go back to campus and stuff like that so it's not too bad I'm not like all the way alone but it is cool like being responsible for like your own home and like doing groceries and paying bills and all that it's so weird i feel like now i'm officially an adult like i really do feel like an adult now it took me some time but that's why i pretty much wanted to move because i feel like if you're well with my parents if i was still in their house then i'm always gonna be a child i'm always gonna be a child under their roof it's not a bad thing but like they're really they care about us so much like they want to be involved in everything we do and take care of us and make sure that we're not like worrying and stuff like that but because like they were pretty strict growing up and all that it kind of just made me like look forward to moving out and all that and then another reason why I did want to move out is so I could focus on myself and like you know have some privacy never had privacy in my life like like my family's not that huge we are just like four kids and two parents but still like never had privacy like you can't really do stuff on your own 
everyone's always involved in it and stuff like that. My goal was actually like to move out by 21. But now I've been able to move out at 20. And I'm really proud of myself. Oh, by the way, to conceal my brows, I'm just using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And this shade is Creamy Beige. I just use a bunch of them and I just mix and see whatever works. And my brows don't have to be perfect. I really don't care. I'm just trying to make it look nice. And also, let me know what goals you guys have for 2021. It's so weird. My first ever video was exactly two years ago. And it was a get to know me. I think it was a get to know me. Yeah, it was a get to know me. Two years ago, January. And it was right after New Year's. I'm definitely like proud that I started the YouTube and I've been going with it even though like sometimes it can get um what's that word what's wrong with me it can get discouraging sometimes like being on YouTube and stuff like that when the numbers don't add up or like match to what you thought it was going to be and stuff like that that's what I was going through like in the beginning of the year like I really hated YouTube I was like what's the point I feel like no one really cares about my videos and why am I like putting all this like effort and work to um like you know making videos for just like two people to watch but i i felt like like after i i said that in one of my lives or something and then i had like a lot of people show like love and support and i was like damn i guess i guess people do care i had this milk mascara it was like a i got it for my birthday like you know when you go to sephora on your birthday and they give you stuff yeah so i'm just gonna brush them up a little bit don't press too hard though or else you're gonna have black eyebrows and now, next, what am I going to do? I'm just going to take concealer that matches my skin very well. And this is the shade Toffee. I'm just going to go over any spots that I would like covered up. Pretty much it for this, I think. And then taking like a denser type of brush. Let's go blend that. I really, really hope this pandemic is going to end soon because I'm tired. I'm so tired. Like, I know everyone, is, everyone else is also getting tired. You can't really... Like, you can only go so long, oh my gosh, but it's so sad, but like trying to remain positive about it is so hard. It's just so annoying. I'm such like a control freak. Like I like to do things my way and like I like to, I don't know, I just basically like to control things, which I'm aware of and I'm gonna try and, you know, fix up, but it's just so annoying when things that you can't control come and just change your whole life. Like I usually just stop here but I'm gonna just put a little bit of like a light concealer under under my eyes and this is like a really really light color just to wake me up a bit I don't know why my eyes are so puffy today I'm honestly putting like a little bit of makeup I don't know if it looks a lot to you guys but they're very tiny oh my gosh I just realized I don't have any setting spray damn damn I think I might just go get it believe i'm gonna turn 21 this year though it's pretty crazy like i've been looking forward to it for a while ever since i was like 14 i went to miami when i was 14 and i was like when i'm 21 i'm coming back here also with like my hair business and all that i'm excited to like grow it but at the same time it's so scary and like so hard just because of like the pandemic as well it's been ruining everything like even finding vendors <clears throat> there's a lace shortage as well so how can you like do a whole business when there's no like there's no hair there's no lace I think I'm gonna get into um, classes like making classes one-on-one classes um, install type of classes um, what else I'll do wig making classes once I've perfected like a certain way of making wigs but I did have a couple of like my clients ask me to do these classes so i'm just trying to figure out like how to do that even like pricing and all that like i don't want to be like i'm scared people are just not going to want to come but i guess i won't know until i try it oh i'm using the fenty um powder and cashew so yeah that's my next thing and just expanding and hopefully i can start my wig line when stuff opens up but okay now i'm bronzing and this is the il maquillage bronzer in waka waka I haven't been contouring, but just bronzing and not even like perfectly, it's just just to give me some color. 
and then my nose I have not like contoured my nose I just bronze it like I do it with bronzer Okay, now for blush, I'm using the red in here. As you guys can see, this is a really like quick type of makeup look. Doesn't take that much time or effort, honestly. I think I want to lighten under my eyes a little bit more. Okay, so this is banana and plenty powder. I have a mirror down here and there, if you guys are wondering. So that's what I'm looking at. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys would like to see from my channel. I do want to like expand the type of videos that I'm doing. As I mentioned earlier, I am doing, uh, like I said, the apartment tour and probably like a morning routine. I did like a little question thing on Instagram and that's what came up a lot. I still will be doing big videos, of course. You know, just reviewing and trying out different things and being as honest as I possibly can. spray my face but I don't have any setting spray I don't know why I'm gonna move on to lashes and I think I'm gonna wear these lashes Ardell 213 I really miss my lashes uh, I can't wait to get them done I'm just using my duo glue I'm just gonna wait for my lashes to get tacky but I'll be curling my hair today I used to like put falsies under my real lashes. I used to do that in high school. Okay, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara and just blend both together. So I'm just gonna take like a dark brown and an angled brush, kind of like a little liner situation. I don't know if it's gonna work now, but I'm just gonna like smoke out my lash line. Yeah, it's a little different. Nothing crazy. And I've been loving the natural color of my lips, so all I need is just liner. Alright. And now for gloss, I have this cute gloss. And it's from Fabe's Boutique. Um, it's from my girl Fabin. But yeah, check her out. She has lashes too and gloss and scrubs. So my hair is from Cheetah Beauty and they're also sponsoring the video. This is the hair. It's so soft. Like when I say really, really soft, I really do mean it. But I was really shocked by the quality. This is just air dried. Very, very soft. I don't know what they put in this, but it's soft as hell. And I got it in 18 inches. It's just a 13 by, 13 by, 13 by six frontal wig. And I just quickly installed it, nothing crazy. And they also gave me a cute headband. Um, two scarves, elastic, and also a wig cap. And I'll put all of their links in my description down below. But I do want to curl it a little bit. Let's just go ahead and do that. And I like the layers that they put in it. I might put a little bit more. Um, but I'm actually okay with the layers that they put. And I'm just going to go section by section, but not too small. I'm actually going to get like pretty large sections. So this is one and just quickly go through it. Do you guys see how it's not burning up when I put heat to it? That means it's some good quality hair and you can see for that bounce. Do you guys see this? When I say it's soft, I really do mean this is soft. I love it. Cool. So now I'm just going to do the same thing to every other section. Right. 
it so I've had I have everything curled and just letting this one cool down and I just want to brush it and make it messy because this hair is so soft I'm really really obsessed this is pretty much the look I was going for this is so cute I love the hair really really like the hair let me know what y'all think but I really like how this looks it looks very natural too very very natural and yeah I think I'm pretty much done thank you guys for watching my get ready with me um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did let me know and also let me know in the comments down below um what other types of videos you guys would like to see i do have more time now and more space so i will be filming more and making more content for you guys and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed already yeah i'm gonna see you guys the next time and once again this hair is from cheetah beauty if you guys would like to purchase this hair so yeah I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.